Your mind immediately goes to people like uh, John F. Kennedy or Winston Churchill or Nelson Mandela. And it's actually the speeches that people are remembered for. The actual single speech rather than the, their, their entire career. Uh, so I think the, the, the speech remains a very important way of getting information across uh, and making an impact. So you've got to think about what, who or what is the audience of that speech. And you've got to think very carefully of what messages you're going to put across. So you've got to develop the arguments in the speech. You've got to think about what the themes are and how you're going to structure it. And then, as I say, you've got to think about the written word and the, the way we speak. It's a very different way of uh, speaking in a speech. Well, the speech in the age of social media is, is very interesting. It's become much more important and it's, uh, it's essentially a very important uh, thing that you've got to structure and also you've got to very much think about the sound bites. It's the sound bites, the extracts from the speech that can be tweeted during the actual course of the speech itself either by the organiser or by the audience that's physically there. But also, in the world of Twitter, people are commenting, commentating on the speech as you go along. Most of the people I've taught speech writing to, and it includes people working for the top people uh, across the world in business and government, they're writing speeches already, but they've had no formal training. This course is just an excellent grounding in how to get a speech structured, organised and written.